Hey guys, good morning. I'm actually, I just took out the trash. Now I'm headed to school. Uh, today is really chilly, 48, 50 degrees. Oh yeah, I think you guys can't see me, but yeah, so today, today's finals week, which I've been preparing since last week, and situate some things with financial aid again when it comes to my reconsideration appeal and all of that nonsense. So yeah. For me, I'm good. I made I made easy in all my classes this semester. It's just that it was very it was very difficult for me to understand thing about doing all kind of kind of stuff with these professors. We just like I need like stop messing around. Next, next semester is gonna be a bit smoother. I I kind of understand the flow of things. I I'm still gonna be parked in the same remote campus area. Um, I need to start pushing through on my degree. It, getting involved I need to start um oh i got a scholarship that i need to um to apply for i'm talking about my lonely so but i'm heading back home guys and thanks so much for watching this second vlog I, I, you guys said like oh my god like the quality is going down <laughs> i don't know like bye bye guys Bye guys, 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 bye guys. Hey guys, I'm on my way home now after some studying session. And yeah, it's pretty chill here at the, at the university today. It's pretty loud now because of the food trucks we have here. So yeah, I'm headed home now. I'll see you guys later. I'm back on campus. And it's very, very slow today because it's finals and today I didn't have class. But I did look at my final today and I got a hundred on my final. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So I'm going to go and get something to eat and I'll probably just head home after this. Yeah. Uh, look, I, in a lot of ways, that probably was a good driving force for me. You know, knowing that, you know, his blood was in me, I, or ever, ever thought about it, he gave me something that you, you could never quantify. He gave me a dream of what I might could become because of what he, he was. He was my father, and what he had done with his life put something in me that I probably would have never had, or might not have ever had, who knows. But I, I certainly think that that was a driving force in me to think that I could become somebody. My grandmother had a place right off a highway. Use the right two lanes to take exit 32B for I-45 North toward downtown. I remember sitting up on a bar stool while she was cleaning the bar in the middle of the day and watching things set up and sound check and play music and just spend and hours just watching these guys do that. So I'm sure that somewhere along the line of death is ingrained in me. You know, I, I, beer chasing. You know, all those things, I, I, I lived all that stuff. You know, I, I, I had, gosh, I had a lot of, had a lot of fun, <laughs> but, you know, but I have more fun now. You know, it's, it's a different kind of fun. You know, Faith and I didn't get married until we were 29. So I spent a lot, of, I started playing music when I was, gosh, 19 years old in college. I started studying pre-law, was my major in college. And then I joined a fraternity and I don't know what happened after that. <laughs> In two months, high school ring went to a pawn shop. And I sold my high school ring for twenty-five dollars, and I bought a guitar there for twenty-five bucks. And that summer, I sat, 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 and learned to play probably about fifty songs. And that summer, and in that fall, I started playing for tips at a little yeah, restaurant <laughs> that was close to the house. I lived in. And the only people that came were my fraternity brothers and people I went to college with. That's the only people that showed up, and I got free beer, and I got. Free